Uh, yes, we're here to talk about The Phantom Menace. It's the movie that everyone seems to love to hate. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Some good stuff. Let's explore. So, let's be honest. How many people watch the Star Wars movies, the prequels I'm talking about now, and sort of skip skip over Phantom Menace and go right to Attack of the Clones and uh, Revenge of the Sith? I usually uh, watch selected scenes. I'll watch, uh, let's see, the uh, the beginning's good with uh, with Obi-Wan and uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and, you know, all their all their antics and their fights and then of course uh the Darth Maul the big the big finale the battle and the uh you know his comeuppance of course everyone is pretty much in uh, agreement that you know George either uh, George Lucas either took him away too quickly uh, killed him off too quickly and uh we're we're all I think most fans would love for him to have uh, uh carried on Though he's in the what is he? He's in the animated series. I've not seen it, but I heard it's great. So, point is though, Phantom Menace. It, it's really one of those things where you had to be there. I remember, you know, seeing the commercials, the, you know, TV ads, and all this hype coming about it because we haven't seen a new Star Wars movie in decades and years. So it was like, wow, you know, a new Star Wars. And and I think for that alone, I do think it it is a success. Of course, it did very well at the box office and also of course all the the digital the cgi which was still kind of being you know embryonic it wasn't as widely used and certainly the characters even jar jar banks even though okay he's he is one of the most annoying creatures and creations in cinematic history but his you know realization his depiction being able to do that with i guess the motion capture with the actor and then the digital layering on of, of, of makeup and such is just pretty extraordinary. What is it? Watu, Saboba, even a, a younger and svelter Jabba the Hutt. Um, you know, these these creatures, these creations, digital are just, they're still amazing. Uh, I was looking at the, yeah, the scene when Jar Jar Banks goes to that, what is it? The B- Boss Nass and uh, Brian Bless, great British actor, does the voice. And that creature is still really cool. Uh, it's, you know, the CGI is not really dated, certainly not as sophisticated as today, but it still looks awesome. And I think so if anything about Phantom Menace is a success, I think the, you know, the new widespread, more widespread use of digital with these creations and of course the ships as well is, is pretty on target. Um, you know, Jar Jar Banks, certain things about it are really kind of sort of clumsy or annoying but overall, you know, again, to put yourself in that back in the day, to have a new Star Wars movie of this caliber and technological advancement was just uh, pretty amazing. So what do you guys think? Shoot us some comments. What are your feelings about Phantom Menace? I still like it. Don't love it. I, I love, though, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Siths. I agree. I know. I admit it. That's it. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.